Standard parts are often available in multiple configurations to suit different size or performance requirements. A flange, for example, can have hundreds of sizes. Rather than waste time modeling a part for each size, Onshape now lets you build a configuration table to capture every possible variation. To change the active configuration, select the size you need from the pull down menu above the feature list. Configurations are not just for standard parts. Even the simplest of parts may need some slight variations. A bracket, for example, may not be a standard part, but for your design, you need it in three flavours top, right, and left, with each one having a different edge selection for the flange and different colours, materials, and part properties. To create a new configuration, open the configuration panel on the right and select Configure Part Studio. To edit a cell, double click and enter a list of names to identify each variation of your part. The Configure Features button puts you in a special selection mode to quickly add configurable dimensions or feature parameters. A single click on a sketch in the feature list displays the sketch and all its dimensions. Clicking one or more dimensions adds them to the table. Notice that the dimensions now have a border so you can see which ones are driven by a configuration and each one highlights as you hover over the columns in the table so you know which is which. To add a feature parameter, single click the feature in the feature list. Every feature parameter can be configured, including selections, and the feature can also be suppressed if you wish. Again, notice that a configured parameter is surrounded by an orange border, and it can be unconfigured at any time by right clicking or deleting the column in the table. When you're finished adding parameters, click Done on the banner at the top. Now you can configure each value. This table is live, so any changes you make update the model so you can see the effects immediately. You can enter any value or equation in a cell and mix and match units as well. So some can be in millimeters and some in inches. Once your table is populated, you can test each configuration by selecting from the menu above the feature list or by right clicking a row in the table and selecting Switch To. In addition to different sizes and power ratings, a motor can have different mounting, wiring and output shaft options. To accommodate all these variations, an old style configuration table would require a unique entry for every permutation, so you'd have to manage a table with hundreds of rows and columns. On shapes configurations are different. Each configuration input can be managed independently from the others. You can add a new list, a checkbox to suppress features or toggle a dimension value, or configure a variable. First, change the name of the new input to something more meaningful, and add a row for each option. Then, use the Configure Features button, this time above the table you want to configure. It's important, but not critical, to ensure that your features are easy to modify. The sketch in this example is driven by an angle dimension, and none of the lines have horizontal or vertical constraints, only parallel and perpendicular. If your configuration does not work as expected, you may need to edit your feature definitions. Once the configuration input has been created, you can suppress or unsuppress features from the feature list. Select each feature, right click, select Configure Suppression, and choose which table you want to add them to. Then for each feature, choose whether it should be suppressed or unsuppressed. A simple option selection now makes a dramatic difference. Basic configuration tables give you a number of fixed choices. However, Onshape also allows you to configure variables, giving you an infinite number of possibilities. If you want the length of the shaft to be configured to order, add a variable input of type length and specify the default and min and max values. This type of input creates a variable that can be used in any way a regular variable can. You can use it in an expression to drive a sketch dimension, or if you edit a feature, 
you can right click a parameter value and set it equal to that variable. This is the same as manually typing a variable name and you could add an expression here too, if you wish. Now entering a value for length changes the length of the shaft and creates a unique configuration every time this value is changed. You can also add design logic using expressions to override a table value. For example, if the user enters a shaft length greater than 150 millimeters, you could override the diameter of the shaft to make it stronger. A quick test of this expression shows that when the five horsepower motor is selected, the diameter of the shaft is controlled by the length. Using multiple configuration inputs makes it much easier to choose the right part to assemble. Whenever you see an insert dialog in assemblies, drawings, linked documents or derived parts, any part studio with configurations displays the options you can choose from. Make your choices, then assemble as normal. Any parts with more than one input to configure allows you to make your choices first before regenerating the part studio. Each configured part has a special icon. To change the configuration used, right click one or more parts and select Change Configuration. And finally, custom features created using feature scripts can also be configured. Because they use the same programming language as on Shape's built in features, they are treated just like any other feature. Here, the size of this custom port feature is configured for each different valve size. Another quick way to create multiple configurations from just a few features is to configure selections, like in the sheet metal example shown earlier. Double clicking the table entry edits the feature. Now you can change some or all of the selected entities. It's that easy and that powerful. Using feature scripts and configurations together takes customization to a whole new level. For part variations, catalogues of standard parts and products that are configured to order, Onshape adds enormous power, flexibility and ease of use with Part Studio configurations.